is the setting, why do I always have to be bullied and act meek and helpless? Clean your own damn room! Put on your own damn tea! I'm not your slave, bitch! I am Cinderella, the world's most famous princess. Shut up! Hi! Is that all you have to say, Cinderella? It seems we haven't disciplined you enough. For someone like you, who never learns her place, I need an appropriate punishment. No food for three days! Wow, Mother, you're so merciful. Giving sympathy to this trash? I wouldn't feed her for a week. Still, she snapped back. But then she was knocked on her ass after one punch! What a miserable wench! <laughs> Th that was... What's going on, exactly? It means God is on the case, and her fate has begun to shift. But this is not enough to answer Cinderella's prayer. So, with Cinderella's fate, I've changed the story's path? In order to grant Cinderella's wish, I need to change how her story plays out. But if I change the story, I'll be destroying the tale of Cinderella that the whole world loves so much. Either way, someone will end up unhappy. What's the right choice? I understand your conflicted feelings, Lord. But as long as your job is to guide the fate of the one praying for your help, the path you must prioritize is... I see. You want me to destroy the story of Cinderella. For your first job, I thought to choose a wish that you may be familiar with on some level. Perhaps that was the wrong decision. I am sorry, Lord. I take full responsibility for this. No, it's not like that. Don't blame yourself. More importantly, I want to try and help Cinderella, but keep her classic tale intact. But how?
Cinderella, what happened out there? The way you were delivering your lines was deviating completely from the script. Whoopsie, Prince. Was my improv not to your liking? That's irrelevant. You did a bad, bad thing. Little kids and parents read this story together, so if you say lines like that... I don't believe anybody wishes for Cinderella to say such hateful things. Nobody wishes for it, huh? So, Prince, you're saying that you don't want that kind of Cinderella, then? What does that mean? It means what it means. I... I... well... Tell me, darling Prince, why is everyone so attracted to the story of Cinderella? Tell me, darling Prince, what does everyone wish to get from the story of Cinderella? Tell me, darling Prince, can you point out the charming bits of Cinderella's story? Why, yes, of, of course I can. First of all, Cinderella is a true beauty. Uh-huh. And? Cinderella is bold and down-to-earth. She silently withstands her stepmother's bullying without a single complaint. Uh-huh. And? Cinderella borrows the fairy godmother's power, dresses up all pretty, and has the prince fall for her at first sight. And then they live happily ever after. With such a lovely ending, there's no way everyone wouldn't find it appealing. After all, this is a story about a girl who seizes her own happiness. Seizes her own happiness? Who, me? You're wrong, Prince. I haven't done a single thing. I haven't even lifted a finger. I'm just waiting with my mouth hanging open until the bait falls into it. That's why, my dear Prince, if Cinderella's story is viewed differently, it's a story about your hunt for a bride. What are you saying? You're the star of this fairy tale. This is your story. You know, Prince, just once, there's something I really want to ask you. What is it? If there were some place besides a royal ball, like a random market I go to to buy food, if you met the Cinderella not under a magic spell, my dirty commoner appearance, would you still have fallen in love with me at first sight? I... Whoa. That was... As we guide her fate in the copy world, it appears the original world Cinderella is changing as well. The original world Cinderella seems to be questioning the plot of her own story. It appears that she has wanted to escape from the restraints that the story of Cinderella has bound her with for years. It is true that you have guided her fate somewhat, but this was a pre-existing issue, so it is not your fault, Lord. No. If I truly am God, I can't run away from this. All this time, I've never questioned the happily ever after ending from Cinderella. But if this was just based on everyone's thoughts, and the leading role is unhappy, she must be suffering a great deal. Aberrations. Jeez, they just keep coming out of the woodwork. The thoughts and feelings that prevent a wisher from changing their fate? Aberrations embody those things. And you are trying to change Cinderella's story, meaning you are the enemy of a very long standing classic fairy tale romance. As long as you reside in the Fate Revolution circuit, their attacks will never cease. So, basically, I'm nothing but a nuisance to them because I'm trying to help grant Cinderella's wish. Even though I'm God, I'm despised. What's up with that? Please do not worry about that. I will always be on your side, Lord. Um, let's take care of these aberrations. Yes, Lord, as you wish.
protection. Stepmother and stepsisters. What a surreal feeling. We always run into the exact scene we need to see. It's rather convenient. Almost like someone's showing me the synopsis for this world indirectly. The Fate Revolution circuit essentially trims the fat and only replaces the pertinent parts of the Wisher's life. It is as you say, Lord. You experience a synopsis that highlights only the most important parts. I see. I don't really get how the machine works. But I mean, someone amazing enough exists to have made that machine. Indeed. But to be more precise, existed. That person died? Yes. My seniors told me that this person sacrificed herself to complete her task in the Fade Revolution circuit. I... see. She must have had a really important task. Yes, but Lord, there is no time for you to mourn. Cinderella's fate has begun to shift again. Mother, an invitation to the royal ball! Wow, we got four invitations! Mother, my big sister, and me! Wow, goodness gracious. I wonder what the fourth invitation is for. My, my, what a shame. Even though we have four invitations, Cinderella has no gown to wear for the ball. Mother, why not just give the fourth one to her? That will probably be the highlight of her life. Not like... What a kind daughter I raised. I wish Cinderella would learn from your example. Cinderella, this invitation is for you. Why not put it in a frame and display it? Okay, my lovely elder sister, let us prepare for the ball. Let's score us some trophy, husband! I'll 
will become the prince's wife and indulge myself in every possible luxury. Thinking about it makes me drool. Yes, that is the ultimate goal when marrying into royalty. My ambitions only grow! <laughs> A ball, huh? Nice to meet you, my dear Cinderella. I am the old hag known as the Fairy Godmother. <laughs> yeah, I know. You'll cast a spell on me and dress me up so I look all pretty, right? Hardy ha ha! We've got a live one here, folks. You can see right through me, huh? <laughs> hey, old hag. Watch your mouth, Cinderella. Only I can call myself an old hag. <laughs> Don't get too cocky now. Ugh, what a pain. Uh, so, Fairy Godmother, I have a question for you. Ask away, Cinderella. <laughs> Why do you want to help me with your magic? What an odd question to ask. You're a bold and persistent one, aren't you? <laughs> It isn't like my desire to give you a little present will bring God's fury down on me. <laughs> now then, let us away to the ball! Bold and persistent girls are a dime a dozen. There are many in this land who would wish to win the prince's heart at this ball. So, fairy godmother, I want to know, why me? Hardy ha ha! Is the answer to that question really what you desire most in this world? What does that mean? Hardy ha ha! Go to the ball and figure it out yourself. Now then, here comes my magic spell! Lovey Dovey, Rainbow Power, Foundation Mascara, Makeup Flower! <laughs> My goodness, you heathen! You don't even have any shoes! How about I let you borrow these here glass slippers? <laughs> They are my finest footwear. Oh, I guarantee they will make you stand out. No matter how many times I see them, these are so amazing. Your magic is truly splendid. If I let my guard down, I could easily slip back into that weird fairy tale euphoria. I mean, seriously. Hardy ha ha! Watching such sweet dreams come true is a privilege of youth. Try them on all you like. <laughs> However, please know this one thing. Once the clock strikes midnight, the spell will end. Be careful of this, Cinderella. Well, the fairy godmother sure acted differently than I recall. What was that lovey-dovey nonsense? Cinderella's fate is trying to change. Abnormalities will surface in a variety of areas, Lord. 
so this makes it pretty clear that if I grant Cinderella's wish, it would destroy the existing fairy tale in its entirety. All revolutions bring destruction in their wake. When something new is born, it is the fate of older things to break. Such a fact is written throughout all of human history. Did you not learn as much in your studies, Lord? That may be true. It may be true, but I 